Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, it's a quiet and dry evening all across the area. We saw cloudy skies earlier today. Those clouds are sticking through right through tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon and some showers from the forecast for later on Sunday. But first, let's take a look outside. This is the capital city of Providence. And again, it's quiet. It's a typical fall night. We have temperatures dropping back into the 50s overall. Not too bad. Bring the extra layer, though, if you are out and about later on this evening here tonight. Temperatures in the mid-50s. Winds northeast around 9 miles per hour. That's helping keep things cool outside. Live radar, you can see no rain here to show you guys. We're staying dry. That's the theme right through tonight into the first half of your Sunday. Three key things going forward. Again, a cooler the rest of the weekend. Showers return for the afternoon tomorrow. Very hit or miss, very scattered. Not everyone's going to see one. And then mild next week. Temperatures get back into the 70s. Right now, though, not quite the 70s. We're in the mid-50s all across the area. 54 in Smithfield, 55 in Newport, and 57 down on the coast in westerly. Wind speeds out of the northeast around 5 to 10 miles per hour for most areas, and that's that northeast wind is helping make it feel cool and just downright damp and raw out there, even though there's no rain around. And that's the theme for tomorrow as well. Plenty of clouds on the satellite and radar. Our setup here, high pressure to the north and east over Nova Scotia. You can see it here circulating, bringing in that cooler wind off the water. Now, what we're watching for early tomorrow and uh, later tomorrow, excuse me, is this low pressure system that's near the Carolina coast. It's going to track up north and east uh, around our area, but miss offshore, and that'll help give us some extra clouds and some drizzle and showers from time to time. So, not a washout, not a major storm by any means but those showers will be around during the afternoon hours. Now let's time things out, starting with overnight tonight. We're going to go forward in time here a little bit more. You can see cloudy skies continue. Temperatures getting down to the 50s overnight tonight by tomorrow morning. But as we go through the day, you can see here we have nice weather coming our way. Uh, Oh, excuse me, I pressed the wrong button here. We're going to go forward past this graphic. This is not the one I wanted to show you guys. Sunday morning's forecast. Let's fast forward here tomorrow morning. Looking pretty good. Plenty of clouds, mainly cloudy. Temperatures, again, in the 50s, going to the low 60s by uh, the middle of the day. Spot sprinkler shower coming our way, again, for the afternoon. Now, few showers continue. 30% chance. So not a washout, not heavy rain, no widespread flooding expected. Just a few showers around and some drizzle from time to time. Cooler by the tomorrow evening, though. Temperatures getting back in the low 60s. Now, Bay forecast, not a good day to be out in the water. Winds east around 10 to 15 knots, waves around a foot, and visibility, clouds and showers around. Again, very light in nature, very scattered. Not everyone's going to see one. Seven-day forecast overall, after this cloudiness and rain gets through, we're looking pretty good as we go into uh, the rest of the week. So let's map it out for you here. Monday, morning shower giving way to sunshine, temperatures in the 70s. Tuesday, bright and mild near 70. Wednesday, spot shower possible, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday, into next weekend, plenty of sunshine temperatures in the low to mid 70s. And as always, you can turn to WPRI.com for your latest forecast update.